This is a spoon and we use it to eat soup. This is a fork. We use it to eat pasta. This is a knife and we use it to apply butter. And finally, this is a straw and we use it to drink water. Now what if I told you there is a super spoon and a super bowl which you can use to consume any kind of food. Unfortunately, the food industry hasn't invented any kind of super spoon or super bowl. But thankfully, the tech industry has. Now you might be wondering what kind of spoon and bowl I was talking about. Hey guys, this is Ifa. Welcome to my new video. By the way, the super spoon and the super bowl which I was talking about is Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C. If you have bought a phone in the past couple of years, there's a good chance that your phone has a USB-C port. In recent times, companies like HTC, Moto, Essential have ditched their headphone jacks for a USB-C port. Now we know that a USB-C port can also be used as a headphone jack. Now let's see what else a USB-C port can do. This is my 5-year-old Dell laptop. This laptop has 4 USB ports. One on here, another on here, another one here, and here. And to access these ports, we need cables like these. This is an HDMI port. And to use this port, we need cables like these. This is a VGA port. And to use this port, we need cables like these. This is an Ethernet port. And to use this port, we need this. This is a power input port. And to use this, we need cables like these. And for audio, we have headphone and microphone jacks. To use them, we need to use this. And this is my new HP Spectre laptop. And this laptop has two USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports. With my previous laptop, I had to use different cables to access different ports. But with my new laptop, which has a Thunderbolt 3 port, all I need is a Thunderbolt 3 USB-C cable to access different functionalities like power, data transfer, HDMI, Ethernet, and even audio. With a single Thunderbolt 3 port, you can connect up to two 4K monitors without any loss in resolution. Also, you can connect up to six Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C devices using a single Thunderbolt 3 port. With Thunderbolt 3, you can get data transfer speeds up to 40 Gbps or 5 Gbps. When I say 40 Gbps, it is smaller B, which stands for bit. And when I say 5 Gbps, it is bigger B, which stands for byte. And now you guys might be having doubts, thinking, are all the USB-C ports Thunderbolt 3? No, that's not the case. The ones which you have in your cell phones, the USB-C ports, they are compatible with the data transfer and they are also compatible with power transfer. And few phones which don't have headphone jack, they also support audio. But the other vice versa is true, where every Thunderbolt 3 port is a USB-C port. This is true, but this not true. If you want to make sure if your USB-C ports and cables are Thunderbolt 3 compatible, check for this logo on them. If you find it, then they are definitely Thunderbolt 3 compatible. As more companies are including Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C ports in their devices, it will further streamline the industry and create a new market standard. With fewer number of ports, the form factor of a device can be reduced. And it also helps manufacturers to save a lot of space, which they can use to include new features like increase in battery capacity or any new hardware. It will be a couple of years for the companies to include a USB-C or a Thunderbolt 3 port in all their devices. Until then, we have to use dongles like this. Well, that is Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C. If you have enjoyed this video, please drop a like, share it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for being with me. See you in the next one.